Hello guys, this is Carlos and in this video I'm going to be going through how to connect a form in ClickFunnels 2.0 directly into Google Sheets without anything else. So you probably have seen videos that you need to use Zapier or Pavli or something else. This video what I'm going to be doing is going through the whole process of doing it directly in Sheets without anything else. So let's dive into it. So the first thing that you need to do is create a brand new Google Sheet, nothing on it. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the extensions area and you're gonna go to add-ons and you're gonna click get add-ons. And there's something called work uh, webhooks for sheets. If I can type correctly. So here, webhooks for sheets and completely free, you're gonna click install. I'm gonna ask you to give it permission. And what this is gonna do is that it actually gonna execute in your sheets. And you're gonna see that then you can configure per sheet to do different things. So there's two steps. You're gonna go next. You're gonna complete the additional setup and it give you a video so you can Yo, follow it you. through. Um, I already have seen it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go through what you need to do. So let's dive into it. So the sheet is right here. Nothing configured, just that we added. But in the side, there's this little icon that was created. When you click it, it's going to probably give you an error. All that you have to do, refresh. And now we're going to see that we have now the sheets and here's what we can start configuring. So the first thing is that it's telling us on the top where the data going to land. So let's say that you may have multiple sheets in here. You can do it. If you change the name, refresh, because you need to do this before you configure everything. Okay. So. Um, if you want to say a 200, okay, we need to get a 200. Okay. So the workflow will stop or if not, the workflow going to continue sending and you're going to have multiple entries in your sheet for the same information. Well, you don't want to have multiple because that will be duplicate. So you want to, when click funnels, send the webhook and the information is there. You want to make sure that it's, yeah, I receive it. And that's the way that it goes. Okay. If you want to add a timestamp, you can add a column so you can see the timestamp. You get it directly from ClickFunnels, but if you want to add an additional, that's fine. Okay. So now what do we have to do? We have to click create. And after this, we're going to have to refresh the, the sheet. What this is doing is that this is creating an app script with all the information on the back end and putting it to execute. So you see, so now I need to reload the sheets because I don't have anything in here right now. Refresh your sheet. Okay. And we have now this webhook option in here. Click on it to authorize it. And this will tell, hey, this need permissions. Click continue. And what this is doing is that this is executing now on the back end all the code for you. After you authorize, refresh. I know that it's refreshing a couple of times, but now you don't need anything else to be able to make it work. Okay, so now that we authorize, let's go back into a configuration. And now we're gonna go into the next step. And now we got our webhook URL. Triple click, copy it. Now I'm gonna go into my ClickFunnels 2.0 webhook. 
And in here, I'm gonna go into a workflow that I already have attached. And let's remove this so you can see the whole process. So in your workflow, you click the plus sign, you add a webhook, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paste that full script and I'm gonna add a name. So Google Sheet Web Hook App Funnel. Create. And now I can bring, so now this is working. Let me take this out. I'm going to bring the funnel up. I want to have it so you can see it there on the back end. So I'm going to do Johnny Smith, Johnny at gmail.com, 212-555-1212. So what does Johnny will need? They have, he have some ad span. Um, to CX. Now the contribution. Uh, and then pizza. Complete. Okay, so we just submitted. We're in the next step. Now we should see in a couple of seconds that this get populated with all the information for that webhook. Okay, so after a little bit, there we have the information that came directly from the webhook. So you see Johnny here. Uh, so we have all the fields that are coming directly as a webhook. Um, now you have the email address and we can directly in the execution of the webhook. So if you go to settings webhook, you can see that the Google Sheet webhook executed, and then you have it there completed. So my friends, hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know.